Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about inserting data into database tables. So in the last tutorial, we set up our first table, which is this student table. And you can see up here um, and then down here, we described the student table. So it has student ID, name, major, etc. So now that we have our table set up, we want to actually start inputting information, right? We want to start storing some different data. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to leave this create table statement up here because we're actually going to come back to that in a sec. But down here, I'm going to show you guys how to insert values. So in order to insert a piece of information into a table, we just want to type out insert into and now I want to type out the name of the table. So in our case, we have this student table and then I just want to type out values. So basically we're saying insert into the student table, the values, and then over here, I'm going to make an open and close parentheses and a semicolon. So now this is actually a full statement. So remember, we need to end this off with a semicolon inside of these parentheses. I can actually put the information that I want to store. So the way that the table is set up, we have the student ID first, then the name, then the major. And that's the order that we want to put this information into the table. So I need to put the student ID first, the name, and then the major. So over here, I'm just going to type in the student ID. So we're going to be actually entering in the same information that we have over here. So this is kind of like our little template. So we have uh, the first student, Jack, who's a biology major and the student ID is one. And you can see we just keep going from there. So I'm going to insert, you know, roughly this same information. So the first thing we want to do is put the student ID. So that's going to be one. And you'll notice that with an integer, I can just type out the number one. And then over here, we're going to put in a ver char 20. So basically, this is going to be a string. Anytime we're typing out strings in uh, SQL, we're going to make these double quotation marks. And then in here, we can type out the string. So the student's name is going to be Jack and then another comma. And we're going to put in his major, which is biology. So we have Jack with a student ID of one and his major is biology. So insert into student values one Jack biology. This is going to go ahead and insert this value into the database table. So now when I click run and you notice all I have to do is just click on this query and then click run. It says down here success rows affected one. So we affected one row in the student table. So now what we can do is we can actually see uh, how this got inserted into the table. So what I'm going to do is actually below here, I'm just going to type out select asterisk from student. And this is actually a very simple uh, SQL command. What this is going to do is it's going to grab all the information from the student table. And we're actually going to spend a whole tutorial just talking about using select. But for now, just know you can type select asterisk from student. And this is going to go ahead and give us all the information from the student table. So I'm just going to click on this query here and I'll click run and you'll see down here we get this table. So it says student ID one name Jack major biology. So so far in the student table, we have one student, which is Jack and he's a biology major. So why don't we actually insert another student? So I'm going to keep this same line of code, except now I'm going to insert a student with ID two and this student's name is going to be Kate and she is going to be a sociology major. So we have Kate whose ID is two sociology. So if I click on this command here and I click run, this is going to go ahead and insert Kate into the database. So now I'm going to click on select all from students or select asterisks from students and we'll click run. And now you can see we're getting all the information from the student table. So we have Jack and then we also have Kate. So we added in so far, we've inserted in two people into there. So what you could do is you could basically use this same format in order to keep inserting students into the student table, right? As long as you have their uh, ID and you have their name and their major, then everything is good. But I want to show you guys another thing we can do. So let's say there is a situation where we had a student who didn't have a major, right? Maybe they just, you know, had no major and or we didn't know what their major was. So we couldn't insert it into the database. Well, in a situation like that, we could actually modify this statement a little bit. So I could say insert into student and then after student here, I can make an open and close parentheses and I could type out the names of the columns or the names of the attributes that I have or that I want to insert. So I could say like student ID and then name. So you'll notice that I'm not including major in here. And what that means is that over here in this value section, we can include the student ID and the name, 
but we don't have to include the major. So like, if I don't know what the major is, like I can't obviously put anything there. So by saying student open and close parentheses and then specifying the two attributes that I do have, I can then just put them over here and I won't get an error by not including it. So now we can change these values. So we'll change the primary key to three and then let's see who the next student in our database is. So it looks like it's Claire. So we'll have Claire and then we can go ahead and run this query and you'll see rows affected one. So we added in another row, but if I was to select all this data, so I'm going to click select again and I'm just going to click run. Now you'll see that Claire's student ID is three. Her name's Claire, but her major is null. So we didn't actually enter in a major for Claire and therefore inside the major field, she's getting a value of null and that's actually pretty common. So that's basically going to be what happens when we don't enter in something. And so what you can do is you can specify what pieces of information you want to insert into the table by specifying them over here. And then here in the values section, you just have to add those pieces of information. So that's two ways that you can insert something into a database table. And it's important to notice that you can't insert duplicate entries. So if I was to try to insert this again, you'll see that the primary key is still three, which means I'm not going to be able to enter this record in because a record with that primary key already exists inside the table. So if I was to click run again, you'll see I'm getting this error. It says duplicate entry three for key primary. Basically what that means is we have a duplicate key and it's not going to work. But if I was to change this to four, so instead of uh, having an ID of three, it's four. Now this is going to work and we'll be able to see we have two entries with Claire, but they have different student IDs. So we're all good to go. So that is the basics of inserting stuff into a table. And really those two techniques are really useful. So that's kind of the basics of inserting into a table. Now there's a lot of more things we can get into with this. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys some other stuff that we can do in order to make inserting into the tables a lot easier. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.